<sighs> well, this book was better than the last one. So that's good. And I found my magazine, so we'll do that too. So my buddy here is all ready for our little chit chat. Welcome to the D. Louise book series. I'm Christina K R I S T I N A K R I S T I N A. There you go. That's enough of those nails. Are, there's nails. So today we are talking about book twenty in the Anita Blake uh, series hit list we actually get some detective work in here not too much of the adult stuff there is adult stuff but not as much as bullet bullet there was chapter after chapter after chapter after chapter but this is better this is actually a case and it's her and edward so we get a little edward story here so please hit the like and subscribe let me know i'm doing a good job it's just me reading books talking books there's no special effects i have no theme music there's nothing special going on here, so I really need your support. I would like to hit a 1,000 subscribers by Christmas. Fingers crossed. Hope. Can you help me? Can you spread the word? I could use your support. So, I found my shirt. <laughs> I don't want to wear it because I don't want to have to wash it because I don't want to have it fade. I want to preserve it. There you go. I found it. It was in the closet. And you've seen Mr. Edward. I would show you uh, Jean Claude. And uh, Richard. But he's not in these. And I also have the fan club newsletter. I don't know if you've ever seen that. And a picture. So, first page. And second page. And... go and push back and now if you're watching flashback Mondays you know I'm doing my Bible here and we will probably get this to this issue in a couple of months because it is a couple of years down the road we're in 2007 right now we're gonna uh, Mondays will be uh, December 2007 this is July 2011, so like I said, it'll be maybe January or something when we get to this one. But I had to look it up, and um, she was listed under urban, not paranormal, but urban fantasy. And if you heard me talking about this magazine, they would do two or three hundred uh, reviews a month. So um, Hit List got two stars. Bullet, they didn't even bother doing. Um, Anita and Edward have been called to Seattle to consult with the local marshals on what appears to be the latest in a string of supernatural murders. A rare tiger has been killed and his body mutilated. With the heart missing, Anita and Edward know but aren't sharing that these killings have been committed by the Harlequins, a supernatural hit squad that answers to none other than the mother of all darkness. Two stars. That's what it got. Two stars. So, it is a little bit better than the previous books, as it doesn't deal with all that adult stuff. So, we start this, the book with um, Anita and Edward going over the crime scene, and talking about the fact that they can't name who shall not be named, and Edward says he feels like he's in a Harry Potter movie. Um, so the Harlequin are only killing clan lists right now because they are searching for gold tigers, a bloodline supposedly destroyed during the reign of the first emperor of China. 
but there are a few that survived and they stayed hidden until recently. So when Nita and Edward are helping the feds with several serial killer cases, and they know who did it, the Harlequin, but they can't tell the local authorities because if the Harlequin name is spoken out loud, it means death to the individual who said that. So then um, they've been handing out these cases to new people. What do you think, Casanova? And uh, Anita and Edward want to take all the warrants. They want to just take them all. But the powers that be want the newbies to handle it. They want to get rid of the uh, senior people, I guess, because they have to pay the senior people more. So, um, Rayborn is the marshal and ch the local guy in charge. So, um, Edward calls Otto, Jeffries, and Bernardo in. And uh, then in chapter three, Edward and Anita talk about talk with Rayborn and um, talk about her talk with Rayborn because she had been pulled into his office in chapter two. And then they talk about how Anita is getting over what she had to do in Bullet and who she had to kill in Bullet. So then um, Anita is hooked up with this brand new marshal, uh, Carlton, and um, they spend the night in the hotel room together. And Anita has a bad dream, and in the middle of the bad dream, it's interrupted by a Harlequin who attacks Carlton. So she ends up in the hospital. So um, so then they have to deal with uh, Tilford and Lorenzo and L Rayburn. And then because of the situation with Carlton being attacked, Anita and Edward have to share a room. And I remember the fans being up in arms about this, because this shouldn't happen, not Anita and Edward. But they don't do anything. And in um, the share room, and they talk about Donna and the kids and John Claude and stuff like that. They have some talk. And then um, Donna calls the next morning, and she's like, um, they explained to her that they had to use the other bed to barricade the door, the windows. And she totally is fine with him and Anita being in the same room together as long as they don't do stuff. So then... Um, with Carlton being in the hospital, they want to give the warrant to a guy named Newman. And so then in chapter nine, we talk about the door and how Anita needs to feed. And they also talk about Peter situation that happened back in Harlequin. And then Newman says his plan is to use dogs to track the shapeshifters. And Anita and Edward try to explain to them that... It's not going to work because the dogs are afraid of shapeshifters. So, and then chapter um, 11, Anita has to go feed the yard door. So she remembers Alex from the, he was the prince of the tigers out there. So they go to see him and one of the door peoples is a harlequin. So they run into some severe trouble there. And, um... Because of the situation with the Harlequin and stuff, there's a big fight ensues, and the Harlequin actually ends up dead. So I'll leave his identity, for those of you who decide to read this, a secret. Um, so then, after all this happens, uh, Newman's dogs have proved useless. They refuse to go after them. Um, Alex is the prince out there, reports to his mother what happened with the Harlequin. Um, Edward gets mad at Ethan because Ethan was supposed to protect uh, Anita, and Anita eats Edward's anger. It's one of her things she can do, so they talk about that. Um, and then Anita also discovers that Ethan is a very rare tiger. He's a four-color tiger, so she got to talk to that. Then the police have recruited a psychic, a really good one, to help them with the case, but Anita and Edward can't go near the psychic because she might actually reveal the truth of Edward and Anita's stuff, and they don't want that done. So, um... Then they go to help to meet the police at the ambush center site, um, place where they've last seen the vampires. And they go down this narrow forest road, and there's an over a conveniently overturned vehicle. So they get ambushed, and they get out of it because Edward just happens to have an um, Antigram missile fire rocket law thing, they call it, and they blow up the other vehicle. So... Um, so then the Harlequin and the people 
involved in truck incident um, come and attack them. So that's a couple attacks. Then um, the marshals get hurt. Newman gets sent to the hospital, and he finally does the right thing and gives the warrant of execution to Edward and Anita. And Anita has to go to the hospital because she's cut up a little bit, and she's healing so quickly that she's going to have a jagged scar. So she's got to go to the hospital so the doctor can slice it straight and then restitch her. In the meantime, uh, her... Uh, well, all right, we'll get to that. So then they have conversations with the other uh, marshals. So they go to the hospital. Anita gets her thing uh, cut, restitched. Then they go to the hotel room, and Ethan helps Anita heal. Then uh, Bernardo arrives. Then Olaf arrives, and we have some issues there. So that's uh, about three or four chapters. Then they get called into Rayborn's office because Anita's, she, they learned in an earlier chapter that they could deputize people at will. So Anita decided to call in food and people to help as backup. So she's got Lysandro, Nikki, Bobby Lee, Aries, Socrates, Domino, and a few others that come in and Rayborn is just like livid, so he goes off. So Rayborn's boss ended up sending Rayborn away. So then Carlton, the new marshal that Anita had been rooming with, tests positive for lycanthropy. So she's got all these guys with her, Lissanjo and Socrates and Aries and Nikki. So they all go to counsel Carlton about her new life. And Olaf is, uh, serial killer who likes to um, kidnap and torture and all that kind of good stuff to petite ladies. And Anita finds him trying to come on to one of the nurses at the hospital and she puts a stop to that. So then um, Nikki and Anita get close. Um, they go back to the hotel room. Apparently the coffee in the lobby has been drugged. So they all pass out, they all get kidnapped, locked in a room, and Mother of All Darkness comes, and there's a big ending. So there you go. There's Hit List. There's your two-star book. But, um, like I said, with most of my authors, we have both. We have the book and the audio. And I figure let's get through these so we can move on to another series. I'll be doing another J.D. Robb. Um, I'll probably be doing J.D. Robb forever because that's my go-to series. That's my comfort series. I love Anita Blake. I am Eve Dallas. But I read Anita Blake because I like to see what the character progression. I will always buy these books. Um, uh, you like my, my t-shirt. And... Uh, my newsletter. But if you want to see any more of these. So here it is. Here's a hidden hit list. Our next book. Is going to be. Kiss the Dead. There we go. So we'll be doing this in a couple days. As soon as I run through it. Refresh the old memory. Uh, so, we'll check that out. We'll check that out in a couple days. Look for that down the road. Don't forget Hit List. Uh, and uh, don't forget Flashback Mondays. And if you want to see a couple more of these, uh, got the newsletter, Laurel, and... Richard and uh there was there was this guy gets killed. I forget what his name was. Um Philip Philip I believe and Jean Claude and Edward and
This is the variant edition. And I need a and it's her with Edward. And I wish they had done a few more. Sherilyn Kenyon is putting all of her characters on tarot cards. Oh, God. If anybody got one of those boxes. Oh, I'd love one of those boxes. I want to ask Sherilyn to send me one. Free. They're like 50 bucks. She's got kick, kick back, kick box or something. Kickstarter. That's it. The Asheron collection with the tarot cards. Oh, I love those cards. I'm going to have to find them one day. Um, John claude and the rats, and uh, I need to kick him, but, so anyways, please hit the like and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job, to put all this stuff away now, <laughs> and um, please let me know I'm doing a good job, hit the like and subscribe, I really appreciate it, it's just me reading books, talking books, and uh, my, uh, my t-shirt here. Hi. Laura K. Hamilton t-shirt that I want to preserve forever. <laughs> Have a good one. Thank you.